Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Now this week's video, you guys aren't going to believe it, but it's another thrift store finds video. I've been having a lot of luck with going to all my local thrift stores in the past month or so. And I've come back today with some more stuff that I think is going to be pretty cool to show on video. So let's just get started with it. Um, I have about four things here from all of my thrift stores that I've been to. And then I actually have an item from a garage sale that I got... Uh, a while ago probably like you know a couple weeks ago and I haven't actually gone around to showcasing this on my channel but let's just get started with I'm probably gonna have this item in the title of this video but you guys aren't even gonna believe it it's an iPod Nano I believe this is the fourth fourth generation iPod Nano because it does not have the video camera on the back so I got one of those uh, along with another iPod this is an iPod shuffle um, I believe this was the last generation of, uh, or I honestly forget, I think they, they made around like five or six generations of the iPod Shuffle, and I think this is the most recent one that Apple just killed off in like the past couple months, um, so, you know, they actually don't make these anymore, but I, I honestly was, like, I honestly couldn't believe it when I saw both of these sitting there, because... Um, if you know anything about Goodwill, what they usually do is when they get items like this that are, you know, of a sort of high value, they usually put it behind this, like, big, uh, glass case that they have at the front of the store, and they ask, you know, honestly pretty ridiculous prices for these. Um, so I could not believe it when I saw these two sitting there just on the electronic shelf, and I also couldn't believe the price they were selling them for. This iPod Nano I got for, as you can see, at $5.15. It is a little, um, like... You know, a little bit worn out there, but uh, they were selling it as is. This is an 8 gigabyte iPod Nano, 4th generation, and the reason I can tell it's the 4th gen is because uh, it does not have the video camera on the back that the 5th generation did. So, uh, yeah, I got this one, it turns out to work. Uh, you know, it is fully functional, as you can see there. Uh, it just needed, you know, to be charged with the 30-pin charger, which I did have, and it you know, as you can see, works perfectly fine. It just needs, you know, a little bit of cleaning up because of all of the Sharpie marker on the back here, but that's not going to be like a huge deal at all. Same for this iPod Shuffle. Um, this one they're also uh, also selling as is for, you can see right there, $3.13. Um, and I have not really gone around to actually testing this because you do need to buy uh, like the uh, special Apple charger that actually charges this thing through the headphone jack. And I don't have one of those because I've never owned one of these iPod shuffles, but these would normally sell in an Apple store for I think around $50. I, th I, I think it was like $49.99, something like that. Um, and, you know, they don't like... Apple just recently, I think in like the past month or so, killed off all the iPods except for the iPod Touch. So I have an iPod Nano third generation. In fact, let me go grab that. So right here is the iPod Nano third generation that, you know, if I just put it next to the fourth gen here, um, this was with this third generation here, they kind of, you know, went all, like went through a whole different form factor than what they were going with because most of the previous iPods uh, the iPod Nano first and second gen looked, you know, a lot like this. They didn't have this large uh, of a screen on here. Um, so they, you know, kind of went to this pretty interesting design here. This is sometimes called the, the fat iPod Nano because, you know, it is, uh, you know, a little bit larger this way than this iPod Nano is. Uh, a lot of people didn't really like this design, so they ended up going back to this one right here. And, yeah, so this is the iPod Nano fourth gen, as I said. Uh you know, pretty awesome, and obviously the same with the iPod Shuffle here. I think this is the, I I think they made up to either four or five generations of the iPod Shuffle because I know that uh, the iPod Shuffle third gen was the one that didn't have any like actual buttons on it. So this one I think was the fourth gen after that, or maybe they made uh, like a whole nother fifth gen. So yeah, uh, two you know pretty cool iPods that I got. This one for five bucks, this one for three bucks, which is you know pretty awesome. Uh, moving on. Let me just move this stuff out of the way. Um, I got two tablets here. Um, these were also a, a, a pretty cool find as well. Um, these are both the same exact tablet. They're just in, you know, like uh, different cases here. Uh, they are, I believe, uh, Motorola tablets. Let me just open this one up here. Um, there's not really any branding on the front, well, actually, except for this big Motorola logo. And you can see up here at the top, there's this Motorola logo. Uh, and yeah, these are, you know, I'm honestly not sure. I think these are from around 2010, 2011, 
maybe 2012. I can't power you know either of these up um, because they have. I'm not sure, you know, like uh, what the whole deal is with these two ports on the bottom. There's a um, micro USB on the left there, and then some other port that I assume is gonna be used for charging in the center there. And I tried plugging this into a micro USB charger and it did not work. You know, uh, like both of these didn't, you know, didn't accept a charge at all, they didn't do anything. So I'm thinking that that micro USB port is used for like data transfer and that the center port there is used for charging. And I think you have to buy the actual uh, Motorola charger. So I'm possibly looking at doing that on eBay. Um, but yeah, I got one of these here. For some reason, they had these priced at two. I mean, they're the they're literally the exact same thing. They had this one priced at nine ninety nine, uh, and you, know, you see it says as is right there. So they had that one priced at you know nine ninety nine ten dollars. And this one here that came included with this nice little keyboard case that folds out for five seventy five as is as you can see there. So I don't know what the deal you know with why that they had one of these priced differently, but. Um, yeah, so this is a, I mean, honestly, this is a, uh, the what, KH Kahomo case? I've never heard of this brand before, but. So yeah, that is, you know, these two tablets here, and that is really all the stuff that I got at my, or at this one, this was actually all at one time. I, um, you know, I actually found these two tablets first, and then I saw these iPods uh, sitting on the shelf next to them. So I ended up getting this all in one thrift store run, which is, you know, pretty rare to actually happen, and it is pretty cool. Um, also, for the item that I got at um, uh, this one garage sale near me, this is actually pretty cool, but it's a Sony Walkman. Um, this is uh, one of the Sony Auto Reverse Walkmans. And this one I was actually looking up online, it seems to be pretty rare. Uh, it's the Sony Walkman WM7 right there, as you can see. And unfortunately, this does not work. I tried to put um, one of the older cassette tapes that I had into this thing. And it unfortunately didn't work. So I think there's some problem with this actual motor in here because both of those things that the actual cassette uh, tape goes into, they don't spin, and they're you know normally supposed to spin so that it winds them, the actual cassette tape through. So yeah, you know pretty you know pretty unfortunate, but still uh, you know honestly a pretty cool item uh, to find. I think I paid like five or six dollars for this. You see on the top there are all of the controls. Honestly, it's a you know pretty nice design. It, it also came in this case that I have. Let me just grab it over here. I can I can show you guys this. Um, yeah, it, it came with this uh, Sony Walkman case. You can see I paid six dollars for it. I, I, I have not cleaned any of this stuff up. I really need, uh, need, need to do that. And I grabbed um, and I also grabbed a pair of Sony Walkman headphones. I don't think these are the uh, you know, original Sony Walkman headphones, even though they say Sony, they're the MDR-35s, but, you know, still a pretty cool find that it all came complete with everything. And honestly, that is really about it for this episode of Thrift Store, and I guess Garage Sale Finds too, because, you know, I had this item, uh, you know, included as well. Um, so yeah, guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the near future and also be sure to let me know what you guys think of the audio quality i've actually purchased a new microphone that i am thinking of you know actually using in some of these videos so let me know if you know you were able to tell that i was using a you know completely different microphone than what i am normally using let me know if it sounds better or worse and i will take that into account when i am you know making my next video so as always again i just want to thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in the next video